Welcome back to the big board. Here we are looking at EFS or Barbarossa or Army Group South or something. The game with uh, three titles. <clears throat> system, I guess it would be called EFS or uh, Eastern Front System, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, uh, although the rule booklet does call it Barbarossa, so maybe it's all just called Barbarossa. I wanted to talk a little bit about supply again because... Uh, we've now got to turn three, and we've now got the situation where we've gone through the first turn where basically everybody on the border had a free supply. Uh, they're already assumed to be supplied. We had some extra supply uh, ASP tokens that we were able to move on to the board via rail. And then in the second turn, we brought uh, 10 additional uh, uh, ASPs or, or dump points or supply points onto the map and I sent some by rail uh, not by rail but I sent some down to map F which is off screen to the right here uh, so that we didn't lose them and uh, we're now in the third turn and we're now in a situation where in the third turn uh, in the second turn we conducted several attacks so we used up a lot of attack supply which is good meant that uh, this freed up these things here to be used so that we can bring uh, attack supply onto the board. So I get 10 supply factors. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. I get 10 supply factors. Now these guys can be uh, ones or twos. So I had 10. So I, I wanna bring these onto the board and I don't wanna lose them. And my understanding is if they don't come onto the board, we lose them. So <clears throat> we've been in the play sequence, we've been allocated the supply points and we, we take these items here that we used last turn, the or, or ones that have not been used yet, and we allocate our points out. So there's two points, four, six, eight, ten, ten points. Well, I can use these, uh, I can bring them on by rail. And each one of these is worth, I believe, one supply point. And that actually might be worth double checking because if that was worth a half of one or something like that, it would make this a little bit easier. <coughs> but my supply capacity on this map is six. So, uh, <laughs> uh, six, all right. Well, uh, that means four of these dudes uh, cannot come onto the map. So, okay, fine, I can send two off down to map F again, and uh, uh, but at some point I'm, I'm not far away from, <coughs> excuse me, from not having, from using up all of the supply tokens down in the south. Uh, and in fact, we're gonna get ahead of the curve down there as well. We're gonna have the same problem where we have too many, and I'm, I'm doing something wrong here, is what I'm feeling. So let's assume that, okay, I can't use these four. So they go to one side and they're lost for the turn. So now I have six factors. Now note, I do have a supply dump already here. There's two and I have another two here. But we also are gonna need supply for these chaps all the way up here. And ideally we want those in a mode with which uh, we could drive them, you know, or, or drive them via you know, being mobile. So I could use these and make them mobile guys, right? They could be little ones. And that would now mean we only lose two factors. So, okay, so that's fine. So now it's only two factors, not four factors. So I'm only gonna lose two this turn potentially. But these guys are gonna have to rail in and they can only rail to the extent that our rail has been converted. So we have a conversion just out of picture here. And because of the way the combat's worked out, you know, the Soviet defenses, uh, there's no rail in and around this area. So there is here, right? There's a rail line here, but I'm not connected uh, because Lvov has not been taken yet by turn four, <coughs> which is, was our, our goal when we got started here. Oh, I think I'm gonna have a coughing fit. <coughs> Sorry. So I can move six of these dudes somewhere. I'm gonna have to pause. Okay, I'm back. Uh, hopefully I paused that correctly. 
Right. Where were we? So I was just mentioning that we had this rail line here and that we needed to uh, work out a means with which we could, and there's a rail line here that's got to progress, uh, that we can push supply up to our, uh, our forces. So the closest we can get... Ooh, it's got stuck to the stand. <clears throat> this location here, I can bring two into. Um, we can rail not into a zone of control, so that is fine there. Uh, clearly, the basically, I can get all the way up to here up in the north, but I don't, I don't know that I want to get that far up. So we, we're going to put two up here somewhere. I'm just going to pop it over there. We'll, we'll sort out where it goes. And that leaves us with uh, two more that we could rail in. And just out of screen, there's another rail line down here. And we're going to pop, uh, we're going to pop two in there as well. Make a bit of a supply dump that's a little bit further forward. And we then will have these two guys that we can drive in uh, from the map edge, uh, and they can probably come in along with. There's the ninth Panzer is actually arriving on the third turn as well. So we've got these guys. Now, the alternative would be that uh, I could bring no supply in and rail 75% of ninth Panzer up into the action. Uh, you know, that's a choice we need to make here. I'm thinking that, the, and the, and the trade-off here is if I make declared attacks and don't use supply, I suffer a plus two DRM on the die roll, which uh, can have pretty nasty consequences. So I would have to have enough DRMs in the given attacks for us to warrant, uh, to, uh, to be able to negate those, those uh, that, that penalty DRM. So there might be some argument to not bring in those six supply points and push this division up over here and you know, rail it in up here and and reinforce this area and help uh, make a push along this route here you can see that the uh, soviets are starting to put some strong points in behind there the problem we've made uh, as a as the german player obviously enough is <clears throat> um, advancing smashingly along the roadway here uh, but i have no rail line within seven hexes that I can trace back to the back of the map uh, to keep us all in uh, or, or have attack supply within range to allow me to conduct effective operations. So it's all well and good that we're making this little beeline towards Brody here. That's great. But Brody's only valuable if we've got the, the line, the rail line behind it to the to the west to support us and Lvov is the choking point there and we are well away from Lvov that's way more than two turns worth of combat uh, so it's going to be something coming this way or maybe a, or a, a, a right turn here and trying to encircle Lvov this way is probably the only viable option I see which which might mean that you know maybe if we did defer on bringing that those six supply points in we brought the we railed ninth panzer into here somewhere and see what they could do in, in this area here to be part of the fun and games for the turn so <clears throat> barbarossa efs is bringing some complexity to the table with attack supply and the timing of when that comes in and the limits imposed by the rail capacity, the location of the rail, and then your ability to consume the supply is, is a function of being within range of these rail hexes in essence because you're, you're having to shuffle and shuttle this uh, supply up in, in supply dumps versus just trucking them in onto the map. At least that's how I'm seeing it. Uh, I may be doing this all wrong. I know that there's a set of revised rules where all the wagons have been gotten rid of and the supply dumps now have three points. I don't have any of those counters. I don't do arts and crafts, so I'm not making them. Uh, they're apparently out on the vassal modules for people to play test with. 
for the new system, which seems like a, a revision. And I would think while that sounds like a minor change uh, or, or is being posited as a minor change, it feels very substantial to me. And it makes me wonder whether this in supply system is inherently somewhat flawed the way it, uh, it's, it's put together when you put it when you link it with the lack of access to rail to be able to leverage these supply dumps. So more food for thought. We're only three turns, well, two turns into this. This is turn three starting now. So it's all new and fresh and painful. And um, we've got to well, learn our way through the sequence of play, which is, uh, uh, it's not even asynchronous uh, or asymmetrical, actually. It's maybe it is asynchronous uh, because, uh, it, it's an awkward, um, awkwardly structured little little beastie that you must be very thoughtful about and, and go through stepwise in the play sequence. So we'll keep plugging away and we'll let you know, <clears throat> excuse me, let you know how things progress. Hope uh, you guys are having a great day. Ciao.